It's bits every day to Canada, Australia, and USA. Okay, today I'm gonna do uh, today's little vlog is gonna be about uh, mud shark fishing, urban mud shark fishing, and that is Chinook salmon when they come into the harbors in hordes at times and they get trapped in harbors and marinas uh, or mouths of the rivers where the lake meets and you can annoy them and they will whack crankbaits, all kinds of crankbaits, baits, baits, every day, like all kinds. Greens and oranges have a, been a big thing for us. Um, jointed, you can see right here, this one's all beat up. It's a reef runner, banana shape. Uh, orange, in this video, is that has was definitely in the theme, you gotta pay attention. The wobble of baits, the color of baits, and the noise of baits. You can't be too stuck on, this is a bass bait, this is a pike bait, no, no, they're all kind of salmon baits at times. And this is kind of the how-to section because I didn't do too much in the vid. I talked a little bit about a few things. But one key thing is, you know, the lip, the lip of the bait, see it's kind of a rounded edge. And some days are all about that rounded soft edge, so it's a whoop, 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 whoop. And the big thing with that is your rod tips too. So I'll use sometimes a really soft tip, crankbait rod, with like 10 pound monofilament to soften the roll. But sometimes they like do, 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 on like a 50 pound braid and that noise. Here's like a, the classic J13. And a couple days has been all about the Fire Tiger J13 where it's just like hammering on the rod tip. Do, 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 and they can really feel that vibration. So there's a certain code, it seems, um, especially when the water's warmer uh, in the 60s kind of gig, um, that you can be pretty finicky on which bait it is so I just rotate through tons of baits you know until I find the right one there is a weird one that I've caught some fish on this year as well uh, jointed deep diving Rapala like don't get too stuck on the baits that worked in the past it's the day um, so in this vlog you're gonna see uh, what worked for us and orange was definitely the deal reef runners uh, Orange tail dance, which I've never caught fish on. Oh, there's one in here. It was the first year I've ever caught salmon on it in this color. Um, and here it was just because it had orange. Oh, oh spilled something. <laughs> anyway, you see there is a, uh, a, a like a, typically a walleye color, like this uh, perch, perch colored big tail dancer, but it had some orange in it. We lost the big orange tail dancer and it was really working. And then we switched up to this tail dancer with the orange belly. Bang. We tried um, greens, we tried purples, uh, nothing on that day. It would have to be a bit of orange and it was wacko. So check it out. Since then it's been kind of a green thing. Oh yeah, um, just want to give a little shout out to Jabril. Um, special shout out to Jabril. Dad of Jabril, please watch this, please watch this video because um, uh, you messaged me and I know that you can catch fish near your house doing this kind of thing. So just take them out there. Um, cast and reel some of these baits and play around and if the fish are there you're going to get whacked eventually so line diameter uh, rod action line type and bill shape and wobble shape you know what I mean so those are the kind of things you got to play around with and I just have so many I just keep rotating rod this line this lure um, to find that answer so yeah, really it's a trial, of error, trial and error. I'll notice sometimes it's just this rod that keeps getting bit. You'll switch a lure on that, and sometimes it's just the rod, you'll put it the same lure, and it's just that rod action just has a little give, and it's that lure wobble, wobble right, and then boom, they smash it. So yeah, it can be really important. Overlooked is the rod action and the line diameter and type of line. So um, yep, you find those combinations of everything, and it's why I'm all. Sometimes it doesn't matter. You can throw anything under the sun and they whack it. Um, one last thing, uh, special shout out to our friend Chris, uh, he's going through some rough times, my son's coach at Domino's Flyers, um, he watches our vids and really um, we're all pulling for you, we're behind you. So Chris Tracy, this one is for you. Thank you for always watching our vids, no matter how low budget or scuffed up these vids are. Dun -dun 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 this one, oh, dude, dude, I'm gonna get spooled. This is what happened when you broke off last time. So I'm with uh, 
Brother Nomsky and Angry Dan, who always Stop. tells me to F my oh, UT. Nice. And we've got a fish on. And this is a bright orange tail dancer. Keep that rod tip on. Uh, I discovered this lure today, as usual. Hmm. <laughs> really? That's interesting. What do you tell me? What do you? Uh, how do you? You lost it. How do you feel about my YouTube? Keep reeling. Yeah, reel it. It's coming towards you, bro. Still there, Numski. Oh. First time on the baitcaster, I believe. He used to hand lines in Australia, right? That's it. <laughs> a man of not of not, not many words. <laughs> I gotta get on the trolling motor. Excitement's inside. He doesn't really show it, but it's inside. He's having a rave. <laughs> You're an eternal rave guy. <laughs> this is his first salmon, he's got his first pike. He's used to catching uh, whiting with Rex Hunt. It's a big one. Dude, that's a gigantor. Levi. Oh, shit. What a nice one. Dude, that's a monster. <laughs> Bro, that's bigger than, I'm pretty certain that's bigger than that 27 I got. We'll put him on the scale. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. Bro. <laughs> we got him in net. <laughs> First one of the day on the old orange tail dancer. And it's big. Let's get him on the scale. Noomski. Well, I said I'd never caught one on this color. Well, I still haven't caught one, but one bit this color. Whoa, dude. This thing's screaming. This one, oh, dude. The Stella, ha, ha, ha. That's a beautiful drag. Wish you could afford one, bro. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna get spooled. This is what happened when you broke off last time. I can't believe this. Huh? Like it must have taken off 600 feet of line. Look where it is. I can't even see it. It's like, look at it. Dude, that's like 85 hectares of line. Did I lose it? I think I lost the fish. Maybe not. No. I can't feel it because I got... Do you see how much lines out there? That's unreal, bro. Am I exaggerating a little bit because the camera's on? Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna leave that in. This is on the uh, perch. All oh, these uh, salmon love eating perch. When they're feeding on perch, you gotta throw that perch, man. No, legit, these fish don't eat. And we're making them aggravated and they're reacting. But uh, yeah, perch. So we were fishing in an area for a while and it was working and there's a lot of fish there but it seemed like they got sick of us and I just moved up a little bit and like two casts later fish sometimes just moving out of the area a little bit I think you know going a little bit of a fresher spot there and then you go revisit that good spot too right this thing has power though man this fish is not playing that's how they break your line and eh? when they wrap that's why that, that floral leader is a good idea that you have there, maybe. Hey? Yeah. We have to go to like maybe like 40 pound floral leaders. 30 pound long. That's a good gig, maybe. You know, for the deep lips. Yeah. From when they wrap, eh? I felt it click and wrap, and I think that's what happened to him. He got busted off. Head, head, head first. Guide them in. Done. How big is that? On the old, but again, orange, eh? A little bit of orange. What do you think, bro? It's gotta have that orange today. Anything with orange, like a, a good dose of orange, seems to be the deal. Cool. Put this around your wrist or you'll lose it. It's got a gut. How much do we got? Small. 18. Boom! But cool. Let's see if that one just she can go just right there. Yeah, she's fresh. Had her in the water the whole time. See that? Bye. Cool.
when they're not biting them well, the best way to get bit is to be on top of them big time, and then they'll go. It's on. It's on. Will he get in the trolling motor? Will he land this fish? Will it snap off? I don't know. Look at the graph. Stinking loaded. What? Fish everywhere. There's so many fish right in this section. Mud shark. Are they a legend or do they exist? They exist, bro. <laughs> oh, I've been farting so much after that bacon jerky. Anything better than beef jerky? Is this Canadian classic bacon jerky? Mm-mm-mm. What to say about that, sizzle chest? Damn tasty. <laughs> You're a real jerky. <laughs> Bacon jerky gives me the old nectar. Brot, brot, brot. Mud sharts. <laughs> Urban mud sharts. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. Finally, uh, other than an orange. Tail dancer. Emerald shiner. Not sponsored. Good bait. Yeah. The strong silent type. Doesn't say a word. But I think he is excited inside. I saw his hands like jittering when we took a picture. He was all <laughs> jacked up. <laughs> Sweet deal. You did it, Mark. You're getting better. Fish by fish. Yeah. I'd say, what, 15 pounder? 16 pounder. Well, we got a guy from Australia here, Brother Mark. No, he's not an Amish. We don't call him like that, Brother Mark. Is that what the Amish say? Brother Numski. Brother Peewee, did you just lose it? No, he's still on. This is his last chance before he goes back to Australia. Will he blow it? I don't know it. Will he show it? The excitement? The delightment? I don't know. This mud shark is gonna make you have a mud shark. Make you shark your drawers. Biggie, biggie, smalls, make you shark your drawers. <laughs> There's our fifth or sixth fish on. And they've been biting around around three o'clock on where we started to get them. So we're not even gonna fish the darker twilight, so we're out. But this is on a gold perch tail dancer. Like we never caught them on this color, but whatever. Weird. Bring out a lot of lures if you're going urban salmon fishing when they come in here. A lot of lures, eh? Bring every lure you can. Man, we got tons. Dude, let me see your golden collection. This guy. Holy cow, we got baits, baits coming out of our yin yang, bro. <laughs> baits, baits every day. To Canada, Australia, and USA. Baits, baits every day. That lure was good. Now all we got is lime. Boo! <laughs> RIP, Orange Master. It's 5 o'clock, and we got number. Fish, fish number three of four, again on uh, orange hue. Orange has definitely been the deal, except for he did, a, did a couple bites on He's hooked like funny. It's got two hooks in it, so he's coming in sideways like a door. Now the file's too big, because it's taking forever. Got him. Uh-oh, nut job. So I got GoPro in my hand. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Perch, gold perch tail dancer. Cool. It's been a tail dancer kind of day, eh? All of them except for one or two in the tail dancer. So our buddy Mark here, Angry Dan's brother, he from Australia, and what a, we we're just about to leave. We said give it 10 more minutes, and right at the end of the day, he got this 18 pounder. What a way to come to Canada and finish his little trip. With his angry brother. <laughs> angry. Only angry Dan. Angry Dan, because he tells me to F my YouTube. I should take Gucci down to the socks. Beautiful, bro, bro. Peace, see you later. Let's go. Bits, bits, every day. We out. <laughs>